studded tires all the way. Rawr. Hey there, bike vlogger here. On my way to work right now. Let's talk distracted drivers today. Nobody likes them, but everybody's got them. Every city's got them. Some worse than others, maybe. I don't know if it's personality or what. Thinking you can multitask or what. There's lots of things distracting drivers, though. Let's just name some of them. Kids, pets, radio, TV, games. There we go. Got my studded tires on my bike again. Nice feeling of confidence there as I made my turn. Because uh, got these little spikes on my tires. Let's see what else. So how do we stop distracted drivers? I'm going 25 miles per hour right now. This is a 30 mile per hour road, I think. Whew. It's cold, it's snowing. It's beginning to feel a lot like Christmas. Even though it's almost Valentine's. What else causes distracted driving? Messing with the uh, a GPS system, people messing with their phones, smartphones. How do we stop that? Introducing the robot car. Woo. So going 19.6 miles per hour right now. So the robot car, also known as the autonomous car or the uh, Google has them, has been testing them, driverless car. How do you keep a distracted driver focused on the road? <laughs> and entertained at the same time. The answer is you can't. It's not possible. So what do you do? Red light. Well, perhaps you just take control away from the human being. Downshift. Getting the shift and figure it out now. Driverless cars, maybe that's the answer. See, I stay back a little bit from this guy in front of me so I can see what he's hiding when he takes off. Also allows me to get a little boost as I get started without running into them. Rush hour is going to be crazy tonight with all this snow. But I usually ride during off, you know, peak hours. Any minute now. There we go. Clipped in. I got a good jump there good start <laughs> oh that red that red jeep thing that was next to me he made a left back there you're not supposed to make a left from that lane you see that all the time whether you're in a car or on a bike you see people breaking the rules all the time 
And that's the problem with uh, robot cars or robot cars with non-robot cars. People often break the rules of the road. They don't signal. They, uh, they speed faster than most other traffic. And it's hard to predict that. It's hard to predict when people are breaking the rules of the road. <sighs> Up the hill. Studded tires all the way. Rawr. I like to go this way so I can avoid the light. I don't need to wait at the light. I'm a bike. I'm a bike. Ride a bike. Maybe that's the answer. Cycling requires a lot more focus. Really the only problem with cyclists is you know, you get, you get the blood flowing and you start to get a little cocky. And uh, you might do things you might not otherwise do in a car, maybe, for some people. <sighs> so what are your thoughts? What's the answer? How do we stop all this distracted driving? It's just getting worse. Cars are having their own Wi-Fi hotspots and stuff now. Here. Whew. So what do we do? Well, here's an idea. Here's an idea. We have the autonomous car. You put it in autopilot like you would on an airplane or something. And, uh... I don't know if that guy honked at me or not. I don't really pay attention to honks. Honk, the, pro the thing with honks, car honks that is, is that they're usually too late. It's like people honk the car horn, and it's like after the fact. That's so why I don't like car horns. Up oh, shift. Going 19.20.2 miles per hour. Uh, so what's the answer? Autonomous cars. Once you put it on autopilot, all the entertainment modules freeze or shut down. I'm going to go ahead and let this guy go. Let this guy go, because I'm a nice guy and there's nobody behind me. So that's number one. Shut down those entertainment modules. Number two. I can't put up two fingers with these gloves. Pearl Azumi Lobster Claw Gloves. You got my two fingers of the... The skeleton fingers. Upshift. 19 miles per hour, so it's still snowing. Sorry about that. I haven't been cleaning up. That's number two. Send out a little pulse, a little EMP, a little jamming signal to freeze all cell phones, smartphones within the car. You can stick your hand out the window, but you do that. And number three, turn on some warning lights. And uh, that's it. More in the description below. Thanks for watching. Snowy.